I know lots of you are hoping that exams are going to be cancelled, like Wales has just cancelled the exams and some other way of deciding grades is going to be used. For example, last year we had the centre assessed grades. Wales have decided that externally marked, so externally set and marked assessments are going to be used, so exams earlier in the year because I don't know about you an externally set and marked assessment sounds an awful lot like an exam to me which they're making them do in the spring and not in the summer so I know some of you are thinking great Wells has got their exams cancelled that's what I want to happen but this is not a good Thing. We do not want your entire grace to be based on externally set and marked assessments which are happening in the spring. The government is working really, really hard to try and sort out exams. Unfortunately, I'm not sure anyone in the government knows how schools work how classes work or has actually been in a school since they sat their exams. So all of their hard work, well done them, is um, not actually good. And what they need to do is just talk to teachers and ask us how things go. So uh, the government has been at it again, winding up teachers, no end. And uh, as I'm sure you are aware, Wales has cancelled exams and they have moved to externally set, some places are saying externally marked as well, externally set and marked assessments in the spring. Right, which is obviously completely different to exams in June. And this is also the, the plan B that's being thrown around in England. Now Scotland, fair to Scotland, they decided on a plan and they told people about it really early on. So well done to them. Wales has just come up with this externally set of marks assessments in the spring and it's very similar to the plan B that's been talked about in England. So I'm going to tell you why this is a bad plan. Sorry Wales, you're already doing this. Um, England if this happens, this is bad, but what I'm going to call them mocks or prelims um, or externally marked sets, externally set and marked assessments in the spring. That's what Wales is calling them. They're basically mocks by any other names. Um, this is a bad idea. So why mocks will not work to give you your grades. Now, the worst thing about this is that they haven't made a decision or told us. If they told us what was going to happen, we could plan for it. So I'm sure your teachers are really, really stressed at the moment and some of that stress is leaking out onto you. It is not your teacher's fault that they are feeling really stressed and that this stress is probably spilling over onto you. It is the government's fault. So please, whatever you're feeling angry or stressed at your teachers, just remember this is not their fault. This is the government's fault. So what's already been decided in Wales and what's talked about is uh, the plan B in England is that an exam, or no, not an exam, because they're not exams, they're mocks or externally set and marked assessments or one assessment, one test, will decide the grades. Now, this is definitely happening in Wales. In England, we might do this as kind of like a backup and still plan to sit the exams in June, um, but then have this grade to fall back on. And what they are seeing is that the examples will write a assessment. And then you will sit there in your classrooms or maybe the exams hall with your teachers as the invigilator and this will be maybe externally marked, maybe not externally marked. Um, so there are layers upon layers of problems with this and I'm going to go through them one at a time. The first one being um, is that schools do not teach all in the same order. So if we take maths for example, just because this works really nicely as an example. Your teachers do not have to start teaching maths at the beginning of the specification and then work their way through it in a linear order. They can teach it in whatever order they want. Obviously, you need to know how to add before you need to know how to divide and you need to know how to do a little bit of algebra before you get onto really complicated simultaneous equations. But there is no reason that they can't teach all of the probability first or all of the probability last. That is perfectly fine and normal and there is no school 
that teaches it in exactly the same order as another school. That's just not what happens. So if they are going to have an assessment in the spring, there are going to be some schools that will not have covered all of the content in that assessment. And this is normal, absolutely normal teaching practice. When you know when the exams are June, you plan to finish around Easter. That's what I always plan to finish when the exams are a normal time. Um, and you write your timetable and you do your two year and your three year planning. And not all schools would finish teaching the content. So what content is going to be in these assessments? We don't know. How some schools will have covered all the content in the assessment just by coincidence, and some schools will have covered hardly any of it just by coincidence. Until the government tells the exam boards what to put in these assessments, these mocks, these tests, well, the exam board can't start writing the papers, and we as teachers can't start preparing you for this. Now, this comes to another point that the exam boards, presumably at the moment as it stands, are being asked to set these papers. Um, <clears throat> fine. Apart from the minor problem that, well, they haven't started yet because it takes, well, they need to know first of all what's in it, but it generally takes about 18 months to write a paper. It goes through loads and loads of different checking stages with specialists and non-specialists and like question writing specialists and big big meetings where people talk about things and they've got to decide whether there's like an even number of low medium and high demand questions it is an incredibly complicated process and well Wales know that they're definitely doing this now and they've been given some notice but England hasn't been given any notice they're still talking about this plan b this mocks that may be happening in the spring but we don't know and the other problem with having these assessments, these mocks set by the exam board is that we as teachers can't prepare you for this. Now generally it's about two years from the start of the specification to a new style of exams coming in and there are specimen papers and there are practice papers and there are kind of like um, you know sample cohorts that sit papers to see how they go. None of this is going to be happening if this kind of like benchmarking test I've seen it called, this externally set assessment is going to be happening in the spring. We are not going to have the time to be able to sufficiently prepare you for this because we haven't seen an example yet. We don't know what they're going to be like. Are they all going to be multiple choice questions? Are they going to be short questions? Are they going to be long questions? Are they going to be a combination of questions? Are they going to be low demand, medium demand, high demand? We know absolutely nothing about this, so we cannot prepare you for this in any way. Now I've seen different reports on this, whether it's going to be sat in a classroom or an example, whether they're all going to be sat at the same time, or whether it's going to be sat over kind of like a period of a week. Now this is problematic for a number of reasons. First of all, logistically, expecting schools to switch around to having an exam season in the spring, months earlier than they told you you were going to have exams is a little bit of a logistical nightmare for schools. But the other problem is, is if not all students sit it at the same time, I can guarantee you that all over the internet, those, well those questions are going to be all over the internet the second the first exam is sat because that's just what happens. It happens every single year after an exam. People go online and they talk about it. If you've got a week to sit this exam, even if you strictly embargo, strictly tell students they're not allowed to talk about it on social media, that doesn't stop them talking to their friend at the school down the road. You cannot keep something a secret unless everyone sits it all at the same time. So if you have say a week period for you to see your maths assessment in your maths lesson well that's just not going to work that's not going to be fair in any way at all that is going to be massively less fair than getting students to sit the exams in june now these say they're going to be teacher invigilated exams now for in normal exams, you do not have your teachers invigilating them. Um, these will be kind of like be external people that come in that will um, 
go uh, wander around and just 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 not your teachers because teachers want you to get really good grades they do i promise and sometimes when i'm invigilating like a little test in class um i'll see a student that's maybe not um writing anything when it's only halfway through the test and you just go over and you kind of like open that paper to the right page or you kind of like go over and say come on you can try this really hard or you just stare at them until they pick up their pen and start writing teachers want you to do really well so some teachers will help students more than other teachers that's just what happens unless you have a completely unknown set of adults normally what happens with the invigilators doing uh, the supervising of the exams some teachers are going to help students more than other teachers that's just the way it's going to be you can't have teachers invigilating exams now some reports are saying these are going to be externally marked and some reports say these are going to be marked by teachers okay fine there are two separate problems here if they're going to be externally marked what is going to be the turnaround time for these the um people that mark the exams go through months and months of training for this and they have not had any months of training or even notice maybe that they're going to be marking these exams if they are marked by teachers well we go back to the same problem of invigilating some people are going to mark harsh some people are going to mark easy some people are just going to mark everyone up because they want their classes to do really really well teachers marking exams without proper moderation without proper training is really problematic so well so you have already decided to go down this route and i'm sorry that you're going to be sitting assessments which your teachers can't pay you for properly um because they don't know what is going to be in the assessment we don't know the content of the assessment we don't know the style of the assessment we don't know um how long it's going to be how many papers there's going to be so we as teachers cannot prepare you for this um england are thinking about going down this route as well and it would be an incredibly bad route to go down um if this does happen i would obviously write practice papers for you um but even the ones that i write take an incredibly long time so i don't know how many i'll be able to get done um the best thing that we can do is to prepare for this as best we can and hope that it doesn't happen ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.